Um, hi, I'm Andrea. Welcome to Craft Little Things. Today I'm going to show you how to make these cute desk stands. Now these are my best viewed YouTube video, uh, tutorial video ever. And I'm just updating them again with um, some lovely um, paper from Do Crafts this time. Um, I've used the, uh, what's it called? Eastern Opulence. Um, pad which is absolutely gorgeous, Cut loads of foil papers, I got, I did it in a haul recently, I think I got it from the works and I think I got, I think there's 50 sheets, 25 different designs, two sheets for each, one sided, all foiled and they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I made this one first, this one's um, just got, they've, they've all got this little um, sentiment on it from the beautiful U stamp set and then behind it is a stamp a uh, sticker from the Eastern Delight Suite and then I've used stickers again to edge this photo frame and then there's a few little cards that you can stick photographs onto some are plain some are patterned um, to just stick into your photo frame there you can change them around and then on the other side I've done a little set of post-it notes and then this space here is for a calendar but when I did this first one I didn't have my 2019 calendars but I have now so that's to go there and then I just took a, um, a normal pencil and I just wrapped it with some washi tape and a strip of the paper glued it on from that stack. This one I made slightly differently, I used a different paper, still foiled and beautiful, same sentiment, same sticker, but I made my um, photo thing a little bit smaller um, and I used a stitch shape oval, used the stickers here uh, from the same suite and I rounded off my corners here and I just made three cards for this one. You can use the back as well to put pictures on so you can have lots of different pictures and the back of that one I left plain. Okay, now I'm going to make another one and this time we're going to be using these teals and stuff again. So um, what you want to do is start off with a piece of A4 and what I did was I just cut it off to 8 inches. So it's just been cut off at 8, this is 8 inch measurement and this is just a full A4 sheet. And then what I've done is I've just scored it at 5 and at um, 5 and an eighth and 10 and 1 eighth and that's just to give it a little bit of foldy space at the top and then what you want to do is just take your bone folder and just score this fold upwards and these folds downwards okay and then what you need um, to go with that is something that's gone What you thin. want is a piece that's eight, um, the same width, but this is one and um, three quarters wide. And then what I did was I just scored it down its half length, which I'm just gonna do now. I don't know how come I've lost the other one. So I'm just gonna score it at one down there. And then you just want to fold it and burnish it. I will, I'll spot it as soon as I've done another one. And then what I'm going to do is, all I want this to do is, I just don't want that to sort of be there because that's going to just fall over. So I just want to stick the narrow end just to the bottom of my thing so it lines up there. And then this end will get stuck to there. Okay. Now I'm not going to do that just yet because I want this is all uh, whisper white thick. By the way, I'm not going to do that yet because I'm going to decorate my front and back. So this is the design I'm choosing. It's a very bold um, foil design. The reason I'm going with these is because lots of people have. Um, very plain rooms now very sort of everything is white and then they just add accents 
So even in your office, if your office is all white, my office is all white, then it's nice to add some accents and these sort of rich foils and teal colours really are lovely. So pop those on each side. So, so I don't forget, I'm just going to glue this on. So I'm just going to glue the narrower side here. And I'm just going to line that up with the bottom edge. And then I'm just going to pop glue on this edge, the wider edge. And I'm going to line that up with the bottom of that piece there. Okay, I'll just use my bone folder to go in and push that down nicely. And then that's just going to stop it from falling over. Okay. So now for my little calendar, I just printed this off um, and stuck it onto a piece of Whisper White cardstock. Um, if you want measurements, I think it's three and a half by two and a half. Oh, it's two and three quarters by two and a half. So that's going to be my front side. So I think this is the side I'm going to put my calendar on. So just pop it. wherever seems right give it a little rub both sides and then I'm going to get my little notebook book I'm going to put something on this I'm going to put a sticker on this from the sticker set but I'm just going to stick this on again this was just some notebooks that I cut down and I've just wrapped a piece of Whisper White around the extra thick Whisper White Just let that take while they're taking. You see, I'll get myself um, my stickers and stuff out. Just didn't burnish that, so I'm just going to burnish that. So that's that side, and this might be the side that you'd want to put your pen. If you wanted to put a pen or a pencil in, and that's quite easy to do. You can just make yourself a little a little slot. All you need is. an inch and a half and that should do it and do it so it's sort of domed on the front and um, flat on the back then you can pop a little bit of glue on And you can pop a bit more glue on to the back. Bow it out before you stick it on. It's just so simple. And then just pop it into the middle. Stick it down. Use your bone folder. Just get it from the inside. Pop it open. I'll just use any old pencil, but if you want to just cover it in um, your paper, you can. And that'll just sit nicely along there. Just mould it. Leave your pencil in while it dries. So while that's okay. all drying, I'm going to make my um, little cards put inside my photographs so I've got let's put my photographs on too so I'm just gonna stick those on leave some white white space at the top for the tabs Oops, got 
two pieces caught up in one there. And like I say, you can do this on both sides, you can do it on one side, it's entirely up to you. So you can get more photographs in if you want, or you can just have the plain side on the other side. And they'll go in. And what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to use a decorative corner punch. I'm just going to cut, just punch the corners. Right, so um, let's just go back to our little thing here. I'm going to stick a label on. I'm going to look for a label. I think this Eastern um, Palace Suite goes really well with, with the Eastern Opulence paper even though the Eastern Opulence isn't from Stampin' Up and the, the stickers are. used a dye from the Eastern Delights Suite again for that and I'm going to use the same Life May Not Be The Party You Expected, that one. So, next thing we need then for our photo frame section is this. We need a piece of 5 by 6 cardstock and we need to score it at half an inch and one inch on three sides. So half an inch, one inch, half an inch, one inch, half an inch, one inch. We don't score it at the top side. And then I've used a um, scallop square from um, Layering Square Framelits and this one measures three and a quarter and I've just put it half an inch kind of thing in from the edges to make my frame. Now you can put some window sheet in there if you want, just stick it to the back. Um, I'm not going to bother with window sheet um, because I don't want the glare when I take photographs um, of this for when I share the pattern, the when I share the tutorial and when I share the project. But I will put window sheet in once I've taken the photos. It just protects your photograph a little bit and it gives, gives the design a bit of integrity as well. Now you might want to put some stickers or something on this. Um, I'm not going to this time, I'm going to leave it just plain white. Um, now what you want to do is you've got four little squares in your corner, bottom corners, just take the two on the outside left off and the bottom one there. So you're just left with one little tab. We've got like a staircase effect. Get two off there and that one off there. And then just cut up that one to give yourself a little flap. And then just cut in, notch in. The dogs have just gone crazy. I don't know if it's because Daniel's come back from the shop. Or have Rick's come in. And then on your just your outside ones, notch in. Just on those outside edges. Okay. And now we're nearly done. All we've got to do now is pop a little bit of glue on these two little tabs so glue and glue and just fold over fold those over and just glue them you want to be gluing them to this first section of your bottom strip okay fold over and just glue it to that section there so that you've got this flap still standing out. So what you've essentially got is a little box with some flaps on the underside. Okay. Just let that take. 
and then pop some glue on these flaps at the back, put plenty of glue on. And there's your lovely frame and then these will slot nicely into there and you can pop your photographs onto them and you can easily change them, swap them around. Okay. So then all that's left to do is to stick your little sentiment on and if you're not having, um, do you know what I might do, I wonder if I put one of these foil doilies behind it, might look nice, mine yet. And there we have it that's this one um, it's really pretty and it looks lovely with the others as well so be really nice having a craft stand very eye-catching especially if you stick a couple of photographs in to um, demonstrate that's what they are and have some you know the other way around so you can see the calendars and things like that it's really pretty and definitely worth a couple of quid of anyone's money so thanks for joining me and i'll see you again soon for the next um my next video which will be a whole video on friday um thanks for joining me and i'll see you soon bye bye